Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. In this lesson, we are going to learn about significant figures, also known as significant digits. And we are going to learn about the rules of rounding off. So what is the significant digit, significant figures? No measurement will be exact. Suppose you measure the length of something. Right, using some scale. And you find that it is lying between 12.2 centimeters say, and 12.3 centimeters. Right. So definitely it is 12.2 something. That something we can estimate. Maybe it is closer to 2, far from 3. So I can take this as 4. So we will say the length is 12.2. Two, four. Right? Now in this measurement, 12.2 we are sure. Right? Anybody sees this, he will say it is 12.2. The next digit is doubtful. Right? I can take it as 4, somebody can take it as 5, somebody else can take it as 6. So, the significant digits are the number of digits in the measured value about the correctness of which we are sure plus one more digit, doubtful digit are called significant digits. So what are significant digits? The number of digits in the measured value about the correctness of which we are sure plus one more digit, doubtful digit are called significant digits. This reading has got four significant digits. Right? These significant digits are telling us up to how many decimal places our reading is okay. Right? One doubtful digit is allowed. So, these are significant digits. Now there are certain rules which we follow so that everyone has a correct understanding of the number of significant digits. First rule, all non-zero digits are significant. Right, that's very obvious. All non-zero digits will be significant because they are non-zeros, they have come from some measurement. So if in any reading is there and there are non-zero digits, all are significant. Suppose the reading is 1, 2, 3.45. How many significant digits are there? 5. Right. Second rule. All zeros between non-zero digits, those are called confined zeros, are significant. Right, those zeros occur between non-zero digits. So they are there as significant digits. Right, suppose a measurement is 100.071. Suppose some measurement is there. How many significant digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll say this has got six, six significant digits and these are called confined zeros. Confined zeros are always significant because they occur between non-zero digits. Next rule, all zeros to the left of the leftmost non-zero digit, all zeros to the left of the leftmost non-zero digit in a number with or without decimal point are not significant. So suppose some reading is there 0024.1. These zeros are not significant. In fact, they are useless. I don't know why they are there. Right? So this will have three significant digits. Suppose some reading is there 0.00. .00 one, two. These zeros are important 
because they are establishing the position of the decimal point, but they are not increasing the accuracy of the measurement, right? So that's why they are not significant. So these zeros will not be significant. So the number of significant digits is two. Remember that. Understand that. Zeros on the left are never significant. Okay. Whether the number is decimal point, not does not have decimal point, zeros on the left are not significant. Zeros are not significant if they are there to merely establish the position of the decimal point. These zeros are there just to put, make us put the decimal point here. So that's why they are not significant. This is about the zeros on the left. What are the zeros on the right? Zeros on the right are not significant if the number does not have a decimal point. Okay, again that may be tricky. If the number does not have a decimal point, zeros on the right are not significant unless the zero has come from an actual measurement. Suppose the number is there 4300 zero, zero measurement. This will have two significant digits in general. But suppose we say height of a building is 430 meters. This zero might have come from an actual measurement. So then these three become significant. So this has got three significant digits. This may be tricky. If generally number is given as 330, 430, or 330 doesn't matter, this will have two significant digits. But when it is obvious that the zero has come from an actual measurement, or somebody tells you that this zero has come from actual measurement, then that zero becomes significant. This will have three significant digits. Okay, a little bit tricky. At times it may be confusing. Okay, but in general, take this as two significant digits unless you are sure that the zero has come from an actual measurement. Now, if the number has a decimal point, then the zeros to the right of the rightmost non-zero digit are significant. So this is important. Number 5 has got one significant digit. 5.0 is making this more accurate because now we are sure that 0 is there here. So this has got two significant digits. And 5.00, this has got three significant digits. Sometimes when a teacher dictates a question, the teacher says 5.0 and you start wondering why 5.0, why not just 5? Or the teacher says 5.00, then also you wonder. But these are telling you the number of significant digits in the measurement. Right? Now, for scientific notation, there is some different rule. So you can write down and note down exceptions for scientific notation. What is the difference between these numbers? 24 into 10 to the power 5, 240 into 10 to the power 4, or 2400 0 into 10 to the power 3. You may say all are same, right? All are same numerically. But this has got two significant digits. This has got three significant digits. This has got four significant digits. So this is the exception for scientific notation. So significant digits tell us the accuracy of the measurement, right? They are related to the accuracy of the measurement. Rules are all non-zero digits will be significant. Second rule is all zeros confined between non-zero digits will be significant. Those are called confined zeros. All zeros to the left of the leftmost non-zero digit in a number with or without decimal point are not significant. Okay. So here these zeros are not significant. Whether the number is decimal point or not doesn't matter. Zeros on the right are significant if the number has a decimal point or if the zero has come from an actual measurement. Right? Zeros on the right are significant if the number has decimal point. In scientific notation, whatever is 10 to the power, whatever, 
that does not become significant but whatever is remaining those are counted in the significant digit this has got two significant digits this has got three significant digits and this has got four significant digits another important point is that change of units does not change the number of significant digits suppose some reading is 5.2 meters how many significant digits are there two significant digits if you write this in centimeter what do you get 5.2 into 10 to the power 2 centimeter how many significant digits again two write this in kilometer 5.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilometer again how many significant digits two so important to understand that change of units does not change the number of significant digits because the measurement is not going to become accurate by changing the units, right? So therefore, change of units does not depend, does not change the number of significant digits. Change of units does not change the number of significant digits. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.